DIY refashion men's shirt with lace applique. That's coming up. Hello fashion sewers, I'm Colleen G. Lee and welcome to FSB TV. Now I'm going to be applying lace to a t to a shirt, a men's shirt. Um, this project uh, is kind of um, a request. The last project that I did, which was um, a refashioning of uh, another man's shirt, and that was a peplum top. So um, I wanted lots of gathers, so I chopped off the bottom of this shirt and added that section to that shirt so that I can get as much volume as um, I wanted because I was gathering it. So what I will do is I'll link to, uh, I'll put a link to that video in the description and I'll also put a info card which should be around here towards the end of the video. So it's, it's a little eye in a circle. So you can press on that towards the end of, the vid of this video and then you can have a look and have a quick watch of that one. So this is a shirt. Um, what I've done is um, I've replaced the buttons because they were white and I replaced them with black buttons because um, I'm going to be working with black lace. So like I said, it was kind of like a request um, for the ideas that they had. So I'm working with lace, which is part of the request, but not necessarily doing the techniques that were asked in the request because I've only got a small amount of lace. That's all, that's all I've got. So I have to work with what I've got. So what I'm going to be doing is because it's a small amount, I'm going to be putting it onto the shirt. So hopefully I'll be able to cover the collar, the pockets, and also the cuff of the sleeve. There should be enough in that little small section to do that. So that is what I'm going to be doing in this video. Okay, like I said, it's half a shirt um, and I've already changed the buttons. So. Uh, the cut edge, I have um, overlocked or surged the bottom of that, so um, if you're in that same situation then just think of um, what method you would like to use for neatening the edge of that. So what you're going to need for this project is some lace, some elastic, because I'm going to give it kind of like a blues on shape so there's the volume to it and you're going to need some pins and also some fabric scissors. So let's see. Yeah, I definitely think I'll be able to cover not the flap of the pocket but the lower part of the pocket. So I'll just unbutton those and then show you how I am going to be doing that. So I'm going to start with the collar, so flatten that out and then I'm going to get the lace, I'm going to get the scalloped edge of the lace and then place that on top of the collar. So what I'll be doing is covering the collar itself and also the collar stand. I'm going to bring it through right to from top to bottom of the collar. And because the lace doesn't fray, it's I'm gonna have a bit of white showing there, yeah. And that's yeah, I'm happy with that. Because the lace doesn't fray, I'm just gonna stitch on top. So it's kind of like an applique technique because I'm applying a small piece of fabric onto, if you like, a bigger piece of fabric. Um, in this case, a shirt. And then I'm going to stitch all the way around. Right, so I'm going to pull it towards the end there because I want to make sure that I get the stand section in, even though it's it's hang, it's kind of if you can see. So I'll be just stitching around there. So and I want to make sure I can see some of the collar. So I want some of the white peeking through. And this is where I bring my pins into picture and then place my pins in position 
And then once I have done that, I will take it to my sewing machine and sew that into place. But first of all, let's come to the end here. Right, and make sure I've got enough of the collar showing there. There we go. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to make sure that one more pin there. I'll get a couple more pins when I'm at my machine. And here. So I will cut this before I take it to my sewing machine. Yeah, happy with that. Okay. Get that a little closer so you can see. So I'm going to be coming some ways from the collar here because the stand is here, so I want to make sure that is covered. So I'm just going to roughly take it to about there and then fold it just to make sure that I'm happy with how it is looking underneath. Yeah, so my pins, I'm using my pins as a good guide here to make sure that I'm covering the lower part of the collar. There we go. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So that's nice. So I'm going to then take this to the sewing machine and sew all the way around. I'm at my sewing machine now. So I'm starting at the beginning of the collar stand here, which is sticking out a little bit more than the collar itself. So I'm just going to do a straight stitch. Needle down. And reverse. And it's a case of really feeling your way really. So and that's going to be my last stitch here. And then I'm going to turn my work. And then continue stitching to roughly about here. Right, so I'm now ready to sew the collar. The lace is now sewn to the collar. It looks gorgeous, really pretty. Here at the back. So now I'm going to focus on the cuff section. So my scrap of lace. Nice of a oh no. I don't have enough to do the scallops kind of effect on both. No, that's how much is left <laughs> for the other for the other cuff. So um and maybe enough for the pockets. But let's just focus on the cusp for now. So it will be a case of finding a nice section in which to do a straight, straight edge to the cuff. Yeah, happy with that. Got two bold flowers there. I'll make sure that follows through on the other cuff. So it will be a case again of Pinning, pin there, a couple of pins at the end of the cuff, oops, another pin here, and one more here. I'm happy with that. So what I'll do is then cut along here and cut along the top part of the base. So stick into there. That's fine. And the start of the cuff is there. 
So I will just cut, kind of see through this lace. There we are. That is the cuff now covered, and I'll do the same on the other side. Now for the pockets. So I'll get my lace scalloped end. Let's see, right side. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah, it's going to be more than enough for doing the other pocket as well. Hmm. Now I'm going to have the pocket peeking through a little bit. And I've got done on the collar. Kind of bring that through onto this section too. So I've opened up the flap and then just making sure that I pin along the stitch line, which I think I've made this. No, that should be fine. Yeah, that's fine. You can see the pocket under the lace and just put some pins in. And along the bottom as well. And this corner here. And you can add a little bit more. And that is where I am going to be cutting on there, this point here. So I'll, I'll get my scissors I'll cut along there and I'll cut along that top section there. And then that pocket will be covered and then I'll do the same on the other pocket. And there we have it. And there's the cuff. So I've put the elastic in the bottom of the top and it's called, uh, that technique, that method is called elastic casing. So what I will do is I'll put a link in the description for the video tutorial on how to um, do an elastic casing. So I think it's such a cute top. I love the lace on there, it does give it an added dimension. So it's easy to, to do the buttons, it was just a case of really uh, the button is there. A case of just nipping into the lace a little bit in order to pull the button through. And don't worry about it, it won't fray because it's lace. And yeah, that's it. Really happy with it. Now look at the back. Super cute. It's kind of got like a, a bolero blues on look to the top. So super happy with that. Um, but I said, not necessarily, a big, I wouldn't say it's a beginner's, a more intermediate um, project, but it's a great little project. Can't wait to wear it and show it off. So that's it. That's all you need to do. That's a case of applying the, uh, the lace to the collar, the pockets and the cuff in like an applique method. And then um, what I did to the end was to create a, um, an elastic casing just to bring it into in, into my body but if you you don't have to it's a choice you can just leave it hanging raw or you can turn the turn the um the cut edge it's really it's a matter of how you want to finish a project that suits your body type body type and what you're comfortable wearing so um i hope you enjoyed this project if you did please do share give it a thumbs up leave a comment um, in the comment section and I will see you next time.